DC here. Hi guys and gals. Well, I hope you're all well. And today for Wednesday, I actually I'm going to do a tag, a tag video. So there's a pe few people sitting over there, but I guess, you know, as long as I don't bug them, they're far enough away, so it doesn't really matter. Ah, so let me see. It's one of the Dave Nicholson tags. Did he give a title to it? I just call it a Dave's tag, so it must be his questions. Okay, so I'll just go on quickly. Some I'll be able to answer, some I won't. Uh, how many pair of shoes do you own? <laughs> Let me see. Um, I've got some walking shoes. I've got a pair of shoes that I wear to work, which are okay. Then I've got a pair of good shoes to wear with my, with my suits and a few older pair of shoes and I suppose well, let me see then I have some some running shoes that's not counting boots or stuff like that I'm not a person that buys many shoes actually all the shoes that I'm telling you about I've had like for years and I just resold them you know so I'm not a, I'm really not a person that goes nuts about shoes and nevertheless I really I do have a few pairs but yeah, so that's about it. Yeah, that would be a... I can't actually give an actual answer to that, but a few, but not many. And they're all old. If you were a superhero, what powers would you have? Hmm. Probably I'd fly. <laughs> I guess flying would be fun. Um, I think he said he'd be a blogger's itch on my ear. That's a different one. Um, I think he said he'd be invisible. Well... That would be interesting, I suppose, to spy on people, but I wouldn't mind flying, yeah. What would you do if you won the lottery? Hmm. Well, it all depends how much, I guess. <laughs> if it was a really big amount, I'd pay off the house and, uh, you know, have money put aside for the family and kids and what's needed. And uh, I wouldn't spend it all. No, I'd probably just continue to live mostly, mostly the way I do. I'd travel more. I guess that would be one of the things. Uh, what form of public transportation do you prefer? And it's written air, boat, train, bus, and car. Okay, I, I agree with him that I don't think a car is actually public transportation. Over here, by the way, boats are. People use boats between the countries if the lake's in the middle to, to do it as public transport. Air? Yeah, I don't know, actually. Would you call it public transport? There's a lot of people sitting in it. I'd say train. I love taking the train. I really do, really much. I really do. The train is a lot of fun. You can get up, you can walk, you don't have to worry about parking, you know, when you get into the town and so on. It's, it's just a pleasant way of traveling. Um, what's your favorite zoo animal? Hmm. I don't think I have a favorite zoo animal, but if I do go to the zoo, I kind of like to look at the elephants, but would it be my favorite one? You know, a lot of times you go to the zoo, they're just kind of doing nothing and they're there, they're kind of being dumb. If I could put it that way. The mon Even the monkeys aren't always that much fun in the zoo. Uh, definitely not the lions. Every time I actually, there was a, a lion in the Granby Zoo, not far from where I used to live, and he would uh, he would pee, he would like turn around, you know, and, uh, and uh, make uh, obnoxious stuff, you know, towards us. Um, Maybe the elephant, I guess. Uh, it's really a maybe. If you could go back in time to change one thing, what would it be? <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, so, I'm going to stay away from the question of wars and stuff like that, because I know that would be, that's the easiest one, I think. I think, actually, it's what Dave answered. So, I won't answer that. But what would I change? Hmm. You know, it's kind of strange. I mean, maybe it would be a few times like some... Oh, goodness. Go back and change one thing. I guess it's one thing in your life or one thing... Hmm. That is a really hard one. Um, I know that I'd like to go back, you know, and change maybe some things... Uh, when I was a kid, you know, like uh, the way he acted with friends and things like that, you know, and probably, uh, you know, be uh, be nicer maybe at times. 
I'm certain that we all have these dark secrets. Every person at least has one that you cannot say we could change that, I suppose. Yeah. So I think actually, if we're really honest, if we go back in time and change one thing, you probably wouldn't dare say it. Yeah. Hmm. Unless it's a public thing. Uh, if you could share a meal with any four individuals, living or dead, who would they be? Hmm. I'd like to go back and have some meals with my with my grandparents, I think. Yeah. And uh, half meal with my dad. Yeah. Yeah. That would be... Uh, it would be nice to have a chat. I'm thinking of my grandparents, so on my mom's side. I've been reading, like, in uh, local newspapers, uh, archive newspapers, and how active they were socially. It comes out in there. And as kids, we didn't really notice that. I'd like to talk to them, to them about that. It would be a lot of fun to know, you know, like, how was it when... I mean, because they went through the Great Depression and stuff like that. And yet they were so sociable. Uh, yeah, I really would like to talk with them about that. Okay, let me see. Question 8. How many pillows do you sleep with? Actually, just one. I've got one of these tempur or tempura pillows which kind of cakes the shape of your of your neck and it's the wavy one and uh, I, I like that a lot I've been sleeping with that type of pillow for for years I do have a second one if I'm not well which is pretty rare actually but if I'm not well then I might you know jack up my head with a second pillow but I sleep with one pillow you know what's the longest you've gone without sleep and why Hmm. Uh, maybe 48 hours, something like that. I guess, you know, studying, uh, cramming in before exams, which is actually a very stupid thing to do. But anyway, yeah, maybe that's the longest. Otherwise, it was when second son of DC was born, but then we actually did kind of, kind of sleep, but that went on for about close to 48 hours as well without any sleep I guess so yeah and let's see what's the next one what is the tallest building you've been to the top of that's in Toronto what's it called again is it the CN Tower the, the big tower in Toronto that's probably the tallest building I've been in uh, yeah I'd say it is actually yeah so I've been talking for close to eight minutes now. Uh, yeah, so it's a, it was a fun, a fun tag. Yeah, thank you, Dave. I enjoyed it. So I'll actually have to put uh, put the questions in the description if any of you ever want to do it again or do it. Okay, that'll be DC signing off, everybody. Take care, and I'm going to have my lunch now.